and contentment. May God work blessingly with us. One of the all our students who are a source of joy for us every day and the entire SMC family and the whole human race. Sister Jyoti, sisters, teachers, students, parents marked in golden letters in the yearly calendar of SMC family. The installation of the leaders for the academic year 2010-11. By being a part of this solemn ceremony, this morning, we have painted a new chapter in the history of SNC. I take this opportunity to your gracious presence here with us today has been a great source of joy and inspiration for all of us. Thank you for being partners with us in helping your daughters grow up in grace. My dear leaders of SNC, being a leader is not about being liked. It is about doing what is right. Today, I pray for you and wish you the courage to do things, speak frankly, and be real. Maintain the champion's mindset always by making this up and shine and do your best to transform the face of SNC by helping every SNCite to transform herself. Yes, in the world in SNC. May this day be the first day of your new life. And if you ever need a helping hand, I am here for you. The sisters are here for you. You are here for you. We get the best efforts from others, not by lighting a fire beneath from others, not by lighting a fire beneath them, but by kindling a fire within them. May this experience of being a part of this ceremony kindle a fire in our hearts, urging us to do our very best in whatever we are called upon to do. For doing our best. and my dear friends. As I witnessed the past years, nostalgia filled the air and tears in my eyes. I still remember the first day I entered St. Mary's Convent into college, the day I surrendered myself into the arms of this institution. I still remember the first hymn taught to me, the chalk and slate I wrote on. And how can I ever forget into the indomitable woman, Jasmine Pinani? The judges, I stood with shivering legs, blue lips, and watchy eyes. No matter how much I tried, 
I could not see the book in my eyes. No matter how much my teachers tempted me with sweets and chocolates, I, the introvert, would not speak. Well, that was my journey to small series. The second phase of my life started by entering St. Mary's Convent into college. Big St. Mary's. Yes, this is what is told to us by our parents. And the very fact of entering Big St. Mary's made me feel great. Now the thing that amazes me the most is how did that introvert, that little girl who stood there tongue-tied, has now reached the glorious position of the head girl of the sensei. With clasped hands and tightly closed eyes, I bow in reverence to the Almighty. I wish to thank our principal sister Marriage, who has placed her trust in me and taught me much in a little time especially at the U.S. and Maine to the Lord. Dear sister, a humble plea in this ending phase of my term of sensei. Please guide me and pass on the quintessential part of you as a leader so that I may shine in the wider world and make a difference wherever I go. I would like to thank Sister Roshni who has guided me with her sound counseling and made me capable of where I stand today. I would like to thank Sister Jyoti, all the sisters, teachers, and my friends. I would take this opportunity to express my deep gratitude, love, and respect to the people without whom my mere existence would never have been possible, my parents. I would like to thank my father for doing all the odd jobs and going out of his way so that his little darling could give her best at school. I would like to thank my mother, thank you mama for surfing the net more than I did while I had to make my projects. Thank you for keeping up with my tantrums and helping me to thick and thin this whole life. I have a wonderful counsel and we all expect your support and cooperation. My dear friends, if we check you for anything, please don't take it in the negative. It's just that we want you all to improve because once we move out, you all are the bearers. Dear students, your suggestions for the betterment of this school is always welcome. Always remember that the inside lies in your hands. One wrong step outside the school will not only tarnish the name of this great institution, but also yours and your parents as well. The final test of a leader is that he leaves behind other men the conviction and the will to carry on. A leader requires courage and determination to forge ahead on the road usually not taken, the road of struggle and of strife. Yet, the only road which will streamline the same, dear students, Every council member is a part of the sensei. And we in no way are dictators. We are just a part as a leader within yourselves. So all of us, let us take up the responsibility of maintaining the numerical poor position of this prestigious institution. And let us decide that no matter how difficult the climb may be, we will face every obstacle. And I know that if we want, we will, and we can. Thank you. I need to please come up and say a few words about the Navinam Shurai Memorial Award. Navinam Shurai Memorial Award for Excellence in Mathematics. This award is instituted by the parents of Navinam Shurai who lost their darling daughter in a road accident on 17th December 1998 while she was studying with us here in SNC in Guam. To give away the Navinan Shurai Memorial Award